Donald Trump has admitted he misspoke when he said he saw no reason to believe Russia had interfered in the 2016 US election. In a shocking U-turn, the US president spoke at a news conference, accepting there's need for some clarification. Our correspondent Harry Horton is in Washington with more details on this. Hello there, Harry. And this was quite an extraordinary admission from Mr Trump, wasn't it? It was, yes, but I'm not sure how many people will believe him. Look, when Donald Trump arrived back in Washington yesterday, if he'd turned on the TV, he would have seen a barrage of criticism about that press conference he held with Vladimir Putin, debates about whether he, as president, committed treason against the United States. Uh, and then overnight, a new poll has come out that shows a majority of Americans disapprove of the way he's handling uh, relations between the United States and Russia. So Donald Trump knows that he needs to try and change the narrative here, the problem for him might be that the damage has already been done. I have a full faith in our intelligence agencies. Whoops, they just turned off the light. That must be the intelligence agencies. <laughs> Making light of what is no doubt one of the darkest moments of his presidency. Trump now trying to convince his country he isn't on Russia's side. He just muddled his words. I said the word would instead of wouldn't. The sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't or why it wouldn't be Russia. The damage was done just 24 hours before when Trump, alongside Putin, was asked whether he believed Russia did interfere in the U.S. election. President Putin, uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this, I don't see any reason why it would be. Since coming home, the president's performance in Helsinki has left him facing fierce criticism from every direction. Instead of standing up for our democracy and democratic principles, President Trump cowered in the presence of Putin. I never thought I'd see an American president uh, throw the intelligence community under the bus like that. Last night's anger over the summit spread from the Senate to the streets. The president's attempt to calm the storm over his slip of the tongue so far unsuccessful. Harry Horton, Good Morning Britain, Washington.